So today we're going to talk about how to properly read a food label. Now I think that reading a food label is a really underrated skill. There's a plethora of information that is located on a food label and it can really contribute to your knowledge of knowing if a product is complete bullshit or knowing if a product is actually good for you because we know that we can't really rely so much on what's on the front of the box or the package. All of those trendy words or bright colors or things like that that really catch our attention and maybe make us think a product is healthy. It really, you don't know for sure if it's healthy or not until you read that food label. Also knowing how to read a food label or a nutrition label can really help you understand what exactly is in your food. Not just how it's broken down into calories and fats and carbs and things like that, but what are the ingredients actually in your food? What is making up your food? Now, if you are looking to lose weight or you're trying to lose weight, this is a super useful skill that you really need to have in your toolbox for successful, healthy, long-term weight loss and mainta maintaining your weight loss and your healthy lifestyle. Now, a lot of times what can happen when we look at a nutrition label is we get tunnel vision or we just spotlight on one thing. I know that I used to do this all the time before I knew how to properly read a nutrition label and I would just, look at the calories that were in, an, in, in a product and not even pay attention to the rest of the label. Because in my mind, it was only important how many calories are in this, how many calories, how many calories. And people tend to do that a lot, especially if they're trying to lose weight. And calories is probably the number one that people just tunnel vision on and they only pay attention to the calories in the food. But you wanna pay attention to the label as a whole. I just grabbed two items out of my pantry. Uh, the first one is Triscuits, I love these. And the second one is something I love even more is dark chocolate. So I wanted to just grab two labels that um, I thought are a little bit different and just kind of compare and show you guys the differences between these labels and things that you want to be looking for. Okay, so we are going to start with the Triscuits here and we're just looking on the side of the box or the bag or whatever product that you're looking at. And the first thing that you want to notice, now a lot of people, they go for the calories first. You don't want to look at the calories first. I mean, you can, but you do want to pay attention to the serving size. So the serving size is how much of this product is, is this nutrition for. So it's not for the entire package or the entire box, bottle, whatever. It is just for six crackers. So that is a serving size. And that is not... It's, it might be like a serving suggestion of, oh, you can eat six crackers and that's like a little snack or something like that. But it's more of a way to help you proportion it out because who sits and eats an entire box of crackers? Probably not a lot of people. Um, so that helps you know like, okay, if I eat six crackers or if you, like, you eat eight, you can kind of guesstimate in your head what is in that. So then you go on down to your calories. Now, calories try not to get too hung up on calories people really get concerned with them and i do understand that because there's a lot of advertising around like oh you got to burn calories and calories in versus calories out and all of that stuff but what are calories calories are energy so that's all the calories are they're just telling you how much energy is in this food product um, and your energy is broken down into different things, which is basically all of this down here. So we'll go ahead and get on into that. So the amount of calories, 110 calories for six crackers. Then you have your percent daily value. This is that little thing right there, percent daily value. Just keep in mind that the percent daily value is based on a 2000 calorie diet for the average person. Now you may not fit into the 2000 calorie range. You might need more, you might need less. So just keep that in mind um, and keep your nutrition, your own personal nutrition needs in mind when reading these food labels. Going to your fat, so these have 2.5 grams of fat, which would be 3% of your daily value in six crackers, not in the whole box. Remember, we're talking about six crackers here. And then underneath fat, you do wanna pay attention to these two lines right here. That is saturated fat and trans fat. Now trans fat we know is the bad fats. So you really do want to avoid trans fat. If you do eat trans fats, really make sure they're in moderation. Those are like those fried foods and things like that. Um, so your trans fats, no trans fats in these foods, yay. 
Um, and then your saturated fats, those are usually like your animal fats. So um, milk uh, products have saturated fats in them. Uh, animal meats and things like that, like beef or more fatty meats, um, those have saturated fats in them. Now, this has zero grams of saturated fats and zero grams of trans fats. So how in the world does it equal 2.5 grams of fat if there is no saturated fat, no trans fat? That's because they don't have to list every type of fat on the food label. So there's um, polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat, um, your omega-3 and omega-6 fats and fatty acids. Um, so those aren't listed on the label. So those are your considered like your healthier fats. So um, they don't have to list those on the label. Some do, uh, this one obviously does not, but that means it's 2.5 grams of fat are still in here. That's just not listed on the label. Okay, and then going down, we have our cholesterol, of course. Um, now your saturated fats and your cholesterol and your trans fats, those usually all kind of tie in together. So if you have higher, um, trans or saturated fats, you're probably going to have a food higher in cholesterol as well. Um, and then on to your sodium. And sodium, of course, we know is salt. Um, and there is 150 milligrams. Now keep in mind, a lot of the food is listed in grams. And then for things like sodium, it's listed in milligrams because it's smaller amounts. Um, so just know that and be aware of that. It's not 150 grams of salt. It's milligrams. Um, you do want to pay attention to the salt in your food. This is 7%. Um, okay. And then going down to carbs. So for carbs, carbs are so demonized. Like people get very, very scared of carbs, especially because keto is a big thing right now and keto is uh, very preachy about how you wanna avoid carbs and carbs are bad for you. And just let me say, that's why I hate diets and I don't do diets at all. Um, and I never, 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 ever recommend a diet to a person um, unless they have a specific medical need for it, which is not the average person because carbs are good for you. Your body needs carbs. You need carbs in order to function. So please do not look at the carbs and think like, oh my God, this food has carbs and now I can't eat it. Y you need, car your body needs carbs. Your carbs are broken down into a couple of different things. So there are 21 grams of carbs in this and the fiber makes up some of these carbs. And then the sugars, which I wanna pay more attention to, is your total sugars here is zero grams and then you're including your added sugars so if you haven't taken a peek at a food label in quite some time in including the added sugars is something that is a little bit newer it started rolling out a few years ago that manufacturers have to add in the included added sugars amount which is great because some foods do have natural sugars in them um, like fruits and things like that but when it comes to the added sugars it's talking about like that table sugar um, you know brown rice syrup honey things like that that are um, other forms of sugar. So these have zero grams of added sugar. Let me switch over to the um, chocolate real quick. So just so you guys can see, the sugars here, five grams, and then includes five grams of added sugar. So there is no natural sugar in this. It is all added sugar. So sometimes on your food label, again, um, kind of the same as the fats, you might see it's got seven grams of sugar, but only includes five grams of added sugar. That's because there are natural sugars occurring in the food. For sugars, sugar in food can be really confusing and complex. Um, if you want to learn more about sugar and the effects that it has on your body, on your brain, why you crave it, and the sneaky ways that they can hide sugar, or add sugar into your food, and you might think it has less sugar than it does, um, check out the five day weight loss jumpstart for busy moms. I will go ahead and I will link it um, at the end of this blog post, you guys can sign up for it totally free. It is five days and the first day we cover sugar and um, why if you are looking to lose weight, you do wanna pay attention to the sugar in your diet and you do wanna cut out sugar. So if you'd like to learn more about sugar, go ahead and grab that free mini guide. It is a five day weight loss jumpstart for busy moms. And then going on to the final thing is your protein here. So three grams of protein is at the bottom. And then um, down here 
it just breaks it down into any additional things that might be in your food. So vitamins, um, calcium, iron, potassium, uh, folic acid, things like that. Um, this has nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, it has a little bit of iron. I did not know that. It has some iron and potassium in it. Um, so those are listed here. Sometimes they're much longer if your food is a little bit healthier or fortified, um, like fortified cereals and whatnot. This one relatively short. And then the very last thing on your food label right down here at the bottom is going to be your ingredients. And you do want to pay attention to your ingredients. So the reason why I love these crackers and why I eat these crackers is because even though they are a processed food, um, which I generally don't eat a lot of processed food, but I like these crackers because there are one, two, three ingredients in them, three. And I can read every single one, whole grain wheat, canola oil, sea salt. That's it. That's all that's in these. And that is great. So you do want to pay attention to those ingredients. So you know what is in your food. And in case you didn't know this, the ingredients are always listed by amount. So whole grain wheat is the number one ingredient in this food. Canola oil is the second and sea salt is the third. I know that I used to do this as well. So let me know if you're guilty of this. You get down to the ingredients and you're reading it and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you start to see all these words and you don't know what they are. And you're just like, skip. And you just like, like your mind just like doesn't even read it. So you're like, if I don't read it, it's like, doesn't count, right? No. So you do want to pay attention to all of those ingredients that you cannot pronounce that's in your food, those preservatives and um, all of those dyes. So red dye 40, blue dye 10, or I don't know the colors, you know what I'm saying. You do want to pay attention to those if they are in your food, um, because those are really what makes processed food not so great for our body is those things that we're putting into our body that our body does not know how to digest. It doesn't know how to handle it. Um, it's difficult for us to break it down and all of that stuff. So pay attention to those ingredients. Make sure you know what those ingredients are. Make sure they're real ingredients. Okay, that is it for how to read a food label. I hope you guys find this video and this whole blog post re really, really helpful. Um, again, if you are starting your weight loss journey or you're maybe thinking about it or you're on your weight loss journey and you're just kind of struggling and you could really use some new tips and tactics, go ahead and grab my five day weight loss jumpstart for busy moms. These are not diets, not pills, not gimmicks. You guys know I'm not about that. These are very simple tried and true tactics that you can implement easily into your life. They hardly take any time at all and promise you they will help you with your weight loss journey. If you guys need any help at all, please, please don't hesitate to reach out. You guys can email me or Instagram me, whatever. And of course, if you would like a little bit of customization or you just want to talk about your goals, get some more info, you really like some more in-depth knowledge about um, something, go ahead and sign up for a free coaching call um, that will be below as well. And it is 100% free and we can just chat about whatever your needs are. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video super helpful and I will talk to you later. Bye.